Sutra Ananda, it all comes from the comic responses which living beings themselves invoke. They create 10 habitual causes and undergo 6 interacting retributions. Commentary Ananda, it all comes from the comic responses which living beings themselves invoke. They give rise to delusion, create karma and undergo retribution. They create 10 habitual causes and undergo 6 interacting retributions. The retributions are interconnected. Sutra, what are the 10 causes? Ananda, the first consists of habits of lust and reciprocal interactions, which give rise to mutual rubbing. When this rubbing continues without cease, it produces a tremendous raging fire within which a movement occurs just as warmth arises between a person's hands when he rubs them together. Commentary What are the 10 causes? Ananda, I will now tell you in detail. The first consists of habitual lust and reciprocal interactions. The habits of lust bring men and women together, and their interactions give rise to mutual rubbing. When this rubbing continues without cease, it produces a tremendous raging fire within which movement occurs. The light of fire arises between them and has a movement of its own, just as warmth arises between a person's hands when he rubs them together. Sutra, because these two habits set each other ablaze, they are coming to being the iron bed, the copper pillar, and other such experiences. Commentary, because these two habits, the two habits refer to one's past habits of lust, which combine with one's present habits of lust. These two habits set each other ablaze. They are coming to being the iron bed, the copper pillar, and the other such experiences. These are the names of specific hells. They are brought into being because people have sexual desire, which is too heavy. They have created too much karma involving lust, and so they must undergo this retribution. Sutra, therefore the first commands of the ten directions look upon the practice of lust and name it the fire of desire. Bodhisattvas avoid desire as they would a fiery pit. Commentary, therefore the first commands of the ten directions look upon the practice of lust and name it the fire of desire. They tell you that the fire of desire burns up the body. Bodhisattvas avoid desire as they would a fiery pit. They see that seeing away from lustful activity is as important as avoiding a fiery pit. You don't want to see the fiery pit and deliberately jump into it. If you do, it's for sure you burn to death. So bodhisattvas stay far away from lust and sexual desire. They do not give rise to thoughts of sexual desire. Sutra, the second, consists of habits of greed and intermingled, skimming which give rise to a suction. When the suction becomes dominant and incessant, it produces intense cold and solid eyes when freezing occurs, just as a sensation of cold is experienced. When a person draws in a blast of wind through his mouth. Commentary The second consists of habits of greed and intermingled skimming, which give rise to a section. Greed is like a magnet which attracts things to it. When this section becomes dominant and incessant, people who experience insatiable greed are always trying to figure out how to get things and make them their own. When greed reaches this extreme, it produces intense, cold, and solid eyes where freezing occurs. These habits produce a sensation of freezing cold, just as a sensation of cold is experienced when a person draws in a blast of wind through his mouth. Sutra, because these two habits clash together, they are coming to being chattering, whimpering, and shuddering. Blue, red, and white lotuses, cold, and ice, 
and other such experiences. Therefore, the first commands of the ten directions look upon its safe seeking and name it the water of greed. Buddhist advice avoid greed as they would a sea of pestilence. Commentary Because these two habits, one's past greed and one's present greed, clash together. The habits of grabbing and seizing feet on one another until they come into being chattering, whimpering, and shuddering. Chattering, whimpering, and suffering is cha cha bu bu lu lu in Chinese, which indicate the sounds made by being suffering in this freezing house when undergoing the tortures of extreme cold. Blue, red, and white lotuses indicate the shapes of ice freezes into in this house. The beings undergo cold and ice and other such experiences. Sutra, the third, consists of habits of arrogance and resulting fr friction which give rise to mutual intimidation. When it accelerates without cease, it produces torrents and rapids which create reckless waves of water. Just as water is produced when a person continuously works his tongue in an effort to taste flavors. Commentary The third consists of habits of arrogance and resulting friction. Arrogance refers to self satisfaction. One is arrogant when one thinks one is better than others. Such thoughts give rise to mutual intimidation. One looks down on others. When it accelerates without cease, it produces torrents and rapids which create reckless waves of water. This refers to the hell of boiling on, the hell of rapids, the hell of scalding soup, and so forth. It is just as water is produced when a person continuously works his tongue in an effort to taste flavors. Someone keeps trying to taste the flavor of his own mouth, the effort will produce saliva. Sutra because these two habits incite one another. They are coming to being the river of blood, the river of ashes, the burning sand, the poisonous sea, the molten copper which is poured over one or which must be swallowed, and other such experiences. Commentary, because these two habits incite one another, arrogant attitudes from the past combined with oneself Satisfaction in the present, there are coming to being many kinds of hells the hell of the river of blood, the hell of the river of ashes, the hell of the burning sand, the hell of the poisonous sea, the hell of the molten copper, which is poured over one, the hell where molten copper must be swallowed, and other such experiences. Sutra. Therefore, the first commands of the ten directions look upon self satisfaction and name it drinking the water of stupidity. Buddhists advise avoid arrogance as they would a huge deluge. Commentary is as stinking as a place where a lot of people go to relieve themselves. Sutra, the fourth consists of habits of hatred which give rise to mutual defense. When this defense binds one without cease, one's heart becomes so hot that it catches fire and the moistened vapor turns into metal. From it is produced the mountain of knives, the iron cut gel, the tree of swords. The wheel of swords, axes, and halberds, and spears, and spears, and swords. It is like the intent to kill a surging forth when a person meets a mortal enemy so that he is aroused to action. Commentary The fourth consists of habits of hatred which give rise to mutual defense. Defense means that you have wronged me and I have wronged you. When this defense binds to one without cease, one's heart becomes so hot that it catches fire and the molten vapor turns into metal. Your heart feels hot and you give rise to the fire of ignorance. 
That kind of energy is so violent that it turns into metal. From it is produced the mountain of knives because the molten energy from one's anger forms it into metal. The hell of the mountain of knives, the hell of the iron cut gel, the hell of the tree of swords, the hell of the wheel of swords, the hell of axes and halberds, the hell of spears and swords, and the like all come into being. It is like the intent to kill surging forth when a person meets a mortal enemy, someone he bears a heavy grudge against so that he is roused to action. His obsession to kill takes over. So true, because these two habits clash with one another, there come into being castration and hacking, beheading and mutilation, filing and sticking, flogging and beating and other such experiences. Commentary, because these two habits are past hatred and present hatred clash with one another, they are coming to being castration and hacking. This is one kind of hell. Beheading, be kill, being killed, mutilation, have one's arms or legs chopped off or one's bones ground to powder. Filing and sticking, being fried and being stuck with thorns, flocking and beating and other such experiences are all five kinds of, of hells. Sutra, therefore the first commons of the ten directions look upon hatred and name is sharp knives and swords. Bodhisattvas avoid hatred as they would their own execution. Commentary, therefore the first commons of the ten directions look upon hatred and name it sharp knives and swords. Anger is just like a keen knife or a sharp sword. Bodhisattvas avoid hatred as they put their own execution. Bodhisattvas regard anger and hatred as they would be killed by someone. Sutra, the fifth consists of habits of deception and misleading involvements which give rise to mutual guile. When such a maneuvering continues without cease, it produces the ropes and wood of a gallows for hanging, like the grass and trees that grow when water stat uh, saturates a field. Commentary The fifth consists of habits of deception and misleading involvements, which give rise to mutual guile. Deception is a lack of honesty. Misleading means people getting involved in cheating and deceiving one another. You cheat me with some scheme. And then I think up some trick to cheat you. When such maneuvering continues without cease, it produces the ropes and wood of a gallows for hanging. Maneuvering refers to the deceptive devices. The ropes and wood are used to construct a gallows to hang the person. This is a certain hell. It is like the grass and trees that grow when water stay. A saturated field deception nourishes the help of ropes and wood in the same way. Sutra, because the two habits perpetuate one another, there come into being handcuffs and fetters, kangs and locks, whips and clubs, sticks and cut gels and other such experiences. Commentary, because the two habits perpetuate one another, they are coming to being handcuffs and fetters. The habits of deception from the past combined with the habits of deception in the present to make a protracted pattern of deception. These handcuffs and fetters are implements of punishment as are kangs and locks. When one is bound by this kind of thing, one cannot move about freely, much less escape. Or perhaps one is beaten with whips and clubs, sticks and cut gels, and other such experiences. What is the origin of these experiences? How do they come into being? They come from deception.
Sutra, therefore the first come ones of the ten directions look upon deception and name it a treacherous crook. Bodhisattvas fear deception as they would a savage wolf. Commentary being treacherous means that when one speaks, one doesn't tell the truth. Sutra, the sixth, consists of habits of lying and combined fraudulence which give rise to mutual cheating. When false accusations continue without cease, one becomes adept at corruption. From this there come into being dust and dirt, excrement and urine, filth, stench and impurities. It is like the obscuring of everyone's vision when the dust is stirred up by the wind. Commentary, the sixth consist, consists of habits of lying and combined fraudulence which give rise to mutual cheating. Lying means not telling the truth, saying things that are false. Combined fraudulence means that people lie in order to treat one another. Mutual cheating means that people are not straight with one another. What they say is not true. When false accusations continue with Nazis, one becomes adept at corruption. People end up accusing each other in ways which are not justified. If they continue in this vein, they end up being masters of deception. Everything they do is against the law. From this, they are coming to bring the hell of dust and dirt, and the hell of excrement and urine. These houses are full of filth, stench, and impurities. It is like the obscuring of everyone's vision when the dust is stirred up by the wind. That's what this particular chemical obstacle is, uh, is like. The dust is so thick you can't even see it clearly, let alone anything else. Sutra, because these two habits argument one another, they are coming to being sinking and drowning, tossing and pitching, flying and falling, floating and submerging, and other such experiences. Commentary, because these two, these two habits augment one another, they are coming to being sinking and drowning, the habits of lying from the past combined with the habits of lying in the present to bring about these various hells. Tossing and pitching means that one is tossed up high and then allowed to plummet down. Flying and falling is also a case of being rocketed off into space and then left to fall back down. Floating and submerging means that one is left afloat at sea. This hells and a and other such experiences must be undergone. Sutra, therefore the first commands of the ten directions look upon lying and name it robbery and murder. Buddhist advice regard lying as the wood treading on a venomous snake. Commentary, therefore the first commands of the ten directions look upon lying and name it robbery and murder. When they see people doing things to treat others, they call it robbery and murder. Bodhisattvas regard lying as they would treading on a venomous snake. Lying too is undesirable.